Leave me in San Antonio if you leave me alone Down by the river and the Alamo Anything comes down, man. Just let me know. I'll take care of it. You got it. Man. All right. You got it. How you doing, Al? I'm doing all right. Uh, where's she at? Well, you know she's always late. You should be used to it by now. Why? Why is she always late? You know. No I don't know. When are, you, when are you gonna ask her to marry you anyway? Ah, uh, sometime down the line. You know, we'll get there. Why is she always late? Well, it's a good start. You be careful. Call me if you need me. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hello? Hey, sweetie. Yeah, they throw me a retirement party over here. So that's where, that's where I'm spending this time right now. Okay, I'll have everything ready for us. Okay, well, it sounds like a winner. Um, I'll see you when I get home. Okay. Bye-bye. Love you. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, Joe. Hey, Lynn. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Oh, it's just fine. You've been talking to your wife? I, I just got off the phone with her, yeah. She doing all right? Yeah, I was letting her know that you guys were throwing me a party. Oh, and, good, you know, good. Retirement thing. Well, well, my wife sent you a little present here. Oh, look at that. She got it at a garage sale, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, remember these. Happy retirement, you look at best. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, nice. Tell her thank you. Okay, uh, keep that on your dresser or something like that. Yeah. But everything okay with you? Well, you know, not since you asked. I, I'm, uh, uh, I'm not happy with this pension thing. I, I, there's not enough money in this thing. I'm just not, I'm not satisfied with it. Well, I know you've been here a long time, but you know, I'm, I'm the manager here, but I have nothing to do with the finances of the company. I mean, you're going to have to talk to the CFO and, you know, you can call him next week because his pension's going to go on for a long time. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just see what you can work out with him, but uh, hope it does work out with you. Okay. You've been, good, you've been here a long time and a good employee, but anyway, just talk with him. And I, I might tell him that you were a little dissatisfied with that, you know. Yeah. Work out what you can. I appreciate but that. Anyway, um, what are you going to be doing in retirement? You've been awful busy here, and it's going to be a real uh, transition for you. It's going to be quite a change. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm going to do some gardening, do some traveling. I'm, I'm going to spend time with my wife, you know. Well, there's uh, good things to do. Yeah, I think I want to spend time with my wife. You need some time off, and good, that's a good thing to do for yeah. you. Yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah. Anyway, we still got some people down here celebrating, you yep. know, and so let's go down and have one last drink with them. I know you're ready to go home, but let's have a drink with the, the crowd down here, okay? Well, um, all right. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to miss this door. Oh, uh, yeah. You can take that sign home with you, I guess. I am, but you could help me find what I'm looking for. Hello? Hello, Joel. Do you have the chip? And is it in the gold box as instructed? Oscar? Do I have the chips? I got the chips. Yeah, they're in the gold box as you instructed. You have the money? 250,000 in cash. Of course I have the money. I have $250,000 in cash. Bargeld. Huh. Okay. I'll be at the Blue Bonnet Motel. You'll be there in a couple of hours? I will see you then. <laughs> Wieder sehen. You ready?
Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Uh, yes. Um, I'm going to need a room for um, like a couple of hours. All right. I can lend you one for uh, 20 bucks, but it's cash only, no credit cards. No credit cards? Cash. Cash only for that kind of time. Um, I think I have 20, 20 bucks. Let me give you the key. Got room number seven. All right, all right room number seven. Yeah, I've just done the walk here. And um, when you get through, you can leave the key in the room. Okay. Uh, two hours? Two hours. We'll start about 10 minutes from now. Okay. Thank you. You can leave the key in the room after you leave. Okay. All right. Enjoy yourself. You're on my chest. I think I hear. Are you on me? Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, okay, I think you have to call somebody. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Well, I don't know what to do. It's heavy on my chest. Oh. Did you sit on my arm? Oh. Okay, hold on. I gotta sit up. I'll be fine. Uh, uh, let me just get some breath. Hold on. Oh my god. Wait. Don't call anybody, okay? Uh, don't call anybody. What's up, Carmela? You know that guy that checked in that room? I think he had a heart attack. And I checked for a pulse and I couldn't find it. Oh. I think he's dead. Crap. Did he say anything before he passed? You know, he was on the phone with this guy named Oscar, who had a German accent. I'm going oh. back to my room and then heading out again. So. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Be careful. Yeah. Detective Carpenter, can I help you? Hello, Detective Carpenter. This is Carlos Santino at the Blue Bonnet Hotel. Remember I talked to you about two or three months ago about a stabbing we had in the parking lot? Well, now we got another problem. Well, what's the problem? We got a dead body in one of our rooms. I need you to come over here and uh, check it out. I don't know what to do. Okay, uh, lock the door. Don't let anybody in there. Don't call anybody else. Detective Williams, my partner, and I are on the way over there right now. You're on your way? Please hurry, man. Okay, see, we're going right now. Right, thanks a lot, Detective. Okay, bye. 
Thank you, Carlo. Bye bye. Yeah, Detective Williams. Yes. Yeah. Detective Williams, remember that stabbing at the Blue Bonnet Motel a few months ago? Yeah. We got another dead body in the room. Are you serious? Yeah, so we need to head on over to the Blue Bonnet Motel right now. Oh, man. Hey, Corner Page, this man I need to see. Remember the Blue Bonnet Motel about three months ago where we had that stabbing victim? Yeah. Well, we need to get you back over there because there's another dead body in the room. Well, I gotta go file this paperwork. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, see you there. All right. Man, that dude is something else. Yeah, he's something else, Williams, but he gets the job done. He's already an hour late. I think I'll just start drinking the champagne. Remember him? Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to see you again, Dr. So Dr. what William. cabin, what cabin is this uh, dead body in? It's on uh, number seven, man. I, and it's always something, one thing or another, man. Well, can you tell me, who was he with when it happened? Well, he was with this really hot looking mama, long black hair, man, really attractive. Uh, what, what's her name? I, I think it was Carmela. That's just her street name, though. Yeah, man. That's her street name, yeah. okay. Uh, did she mention anything else about when she was with him? Well, she said something about some guy named Oscar called them looking for something or other, but I didn't I didn't get any details. That's that's what she said. She heard him talk to some guy named Oscar. Some guy with a German accent. Okay, German accent, Carmela, long black hair, long legs, yeah, real really, sexy. Really hot stuff. But she just works in this neighborhood around here? Yeah, she works around here, man. I've seen her many times in the neighborhood. Okay, well listen, don't let anybody else in that room, and we're going down there to check it out now. All right, I'll just make sure nobody gets in there. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you, thank you. Corporation. This is Detective Carpenter. Who am I talking to? This is Lynn Carter. I'm the manager here at Subcom. Oh, you're the manager, Mr. Carter. Well, do you have an employee there by the name of Joe Sandoval? Well, we, we did, but Joe Sandoval, he retired today and... Oh, he retired? When he retired, he left and he was really upset about his pension plan and he, furthermore, he uploaded a bunch of top secret classified information from the company. He did what? He actually downloaded some top secret classified information from the corporation. What does your corporation do? Well, Subcom builds computer systems and technology uh, systems for the U.S. nuclear uh, powered submarine program. Well, anyway, he's dead. He had a heart attack. He died this afternoon? He just he just left the office about three hours ago. Good Lord. Does his wife know yet? Yeah, I'm gonna get Mr. Williams to call. Mr. Williams, my partner, to call his wife right now. Okay, okay, let me know what develops. That's awful. And we're gotta, we got a lead on that top secret information. And don't call anybody or tell anybody anything. 
We'll get it and we'll contact you immediately when we do, Mr. Carter. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. You have a good day, too. Bye-bye. Well, you know what? This poor fella died of natural causes. You know, I did. I looked. I didn't see any, any gunshot wounds, no knife, no needle marks, nothing. I, I, you know, I think your fella here, he just had uh, one too many tacos, maybe too many cervezas, and he, uh, he's gone on to his... Anyhow. Okay, good one. It looks like to me... Uh, Okay, well, good work there, Coroner Bates. I appreciate it. Listen, load him up and move him out. Oh, man, I gotta get some help. Okay. Williams, you need to call Mrs. Sandoval and tell her the bad news. All right. Miss Sandoval, this is Detective Williams. I need for you to come down to the coroner's office to identify your husband's body, Mr. Joe Sandoval. You're telling me he's dead, and I need to go to the coroner's office. Yes, he's dead. Graveyard dead. How did he die, and where was he? Man, he died of natural causes at the Blue Bonnet Motel. The Blue Bonnet Motel, that city motel south of town? With all the hookers are? Ma'am, I can tell you didn't had something to drink. Maybe you can get someone to bring you down here or you can come tomorrow. What you're telling me is dead? I can't believe it. Ma'am, uh, thank you. Bye. Man, ooh, you know I hate making these phone calls. Well, get used to it, Williams. It goes with the territory. <laughs> you bastard. You cheating bastard. can I do for you? My name is Oscar. Oscar. And I am looking for Joe. Joe was in room seven, but there's police oh, oh. bullet's eye. Hey, I just heard that Joe passed away. He passed away. 
That's why the police are there. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. They're checking to see who had oh, no, 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 a no, gold okay. box. Oh. Do you know where the gold box is? A gold box? I, I, I don't know what anything about a gold box. Nothing. Uh -huh. I, I didn't go uh -huh. in the room. I have no idea uh -huh. about any gold box. Who was in the room with Joe? Some gal, some street some... walker. Really hot mama. Her name is Carmela. She works ah, the streets around here. I don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about her. She just works the streets around here. Carmela Streetwalker in yeah, the neighborhood. She, she was a really hot with long black hair. Very attractive. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. Oh, yes, I know. I like that. But, but uh, sorry. Thank you I don't so know much. Anything about Thank you so very much. I will see you later. Detective Carpenter, can I help you? This is Carlos Santino again at the hotel. Some guy named Oscar came in here, put a gun to my head, and demanding to find out about uh, Carmela. Oh, did he have a German accent? Yeah, he had a German accent. Okay, hold on. So please come hey, back, Carmen. man. It's, it's this is the woman here. we're looking for. Thank her you. name is Maria Gonzalez. Good work, Williams, good work. Did you find anything on Oscar? I did not find anything. Okay, go back and check with Interpol and see what comes up. You got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so uh, we got a picture of her. Now he's looking for a picture of uh, Oscar. And we're going to get them done, and we're going to come back to the motel and show them to you so you can identify them. So please come back, man. It's, it's scary out here. Okay, we'll be on our way. Bye-bye. I got that hit on Oscar Smith. Uh, he's wanted in seven different countries, but not in the U.S. So oh, there's reward for him in Europe, even. That's yes, great. Right. Now let's head back to the Blue Bonnet. Oh. Carlo, tell me what happened. Oh, man, am I glad to see you guys. That guy, uh, Oscar, came in here, and the guy with a German accent. Yeah. He put a gun to my face, he demanded to tell him where the hell was the gold box and Carmela. I told him, I don't know what she is, she hangs around some place over there by Taco Land and I don't know what what's going on. But he threatened to, he threatened to kill me, I don't know what he was going to do. Okay, uh, is this the guy? Yeah, yeah, that's him, that sure looks like and him. Is this is Carmela. Oh yeah, I couldn't mistake her. Okay, well Williams, now we got two pictures to go on. Let's go look for these people. All right, you got it, Carl. Okay, thank you, Carl. Thank you, you got it, man. Catch it, please. Okay, I will, I promise. Looking to do some plowing, farmer? Yeah, why not? How much? One Ben Franklin or five Jacksons? Come on in. Okay. Let's do it. How are you doing today? Oh, better now. Yeah, come on in, my sota. Oh, my nos. Be right back. Can't wait. Mother, what do you want now? I told you I'm never coming back to Castorville till you leave my stepfather. Mom, he molested me for two years when I was 14 and you never believed me. I hope that bastard dies. He made me what I am. Are you happy, Mother? Are you happy?
So you want to talk about it? My stepfather molested me for two years when I was 14. And my mom never believed me. She believed him. That son of a bitch. Where is he? I'll kick his ass. They have a ranch in Castorville, but you can't get near him. I like you, though. What's your name, anyway? Tudor Tudic. And what's yours? What's, what's your real name? Beth Cunningham. Yeah. You married, Tudor? No, I, I'm not married. I, my wife lost her battle to cancer about five years ago. I live alone on a ranch in St. Hedwig. I would love that. Really? I grew up in the country. Uh -huh. I'm so sick of this lifestyle. Yeah, well, maybe you could come out and visit for a couple of days. It's only a few miles away. Wow, I love that. I'll give it a try. Okay. You know why? Because you're the first person who hasn't just tried to jump my bones. We're actually having a conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll tell Al and Carmela later tonight. Uh, wait, who, who are they? Oh, they've been looking after me for the past 10 years. Uh -huh. All right. They're my family. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Al Maria, she's dancing on stage. So what I want you to do is turn around the truck and come back up here and wait. And when she leaves, I want you to follow her when she's in the car on foot. And then when you know where she is, you call me. And then we set the bait. You got it, Carl. Okay, good right. job. on the lead of living guitar. Sitting in with the band, our friend uh, Beto Chavez. On drums, saving the day, the one and only Mr. Alan Bush. Bush! Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Paul Candera, who's going to perform the Gold Box.
stop when she walks down the street. She's so fine from her head to her feet. When you look at her, you feel her heat. Everything you want, ooh, she's hot and sweet. One look in her eyes, one touch of her hand, she'll take you down to the promised land. She's got the gold box, a Latina box. She's got the gold box. She really, really rides. She plays a game day and night in a fantasy. She takes your breath away. She's a dancing girl. You better believe she got a thing or two Ooh, up her sleeve. She's got the gold box. Carpenter. Uh, Bill actually started this band, the Black Tears, about 35 years ago. At that time, he went into law enforcement and got out of the band for quite a while. But, you know, he's a great friend of mine, and we call him Carp, uh, Mr. Bill Carpenter. Let's bring him up, folks. Put your hands together. Come on, Carp! Get 
the job done Because they're number one to say, picked up the phone and they took him away, he got three to five, a Huntsville holiday, each and every way, each and every day, because they get the job done, because they're number one. Williams, what you got for me? Hey, Maria's at the plaza. Okay, great. I'm about four blocks from there. So I need you in the parking lot at the motel to see if Oscar shows up. Okay, you got it, Williams? 10-4. Okay, adios. How you doing, baby? Go for a ride, cowboy? How much is this here rodeo gonna cost? It's a one bill. One bill? Honey, get in. Let's go. What's your name, darling? Carmela. Carmela. Boy, you sweet thing. Sweet thing.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And now I just want to take a little souvenir from my collection. I'll be here saying. Go get Carlo and tell him to get some cutters and untie us. You got it, Corpse. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you, Williams. Hey, yo, Rudy. So what's been going on? Al, I need some help. What's happening? Well, I went out there and, and to the mailbox to get my mail and fell into the street. And these two pups that live right down the street, they come racing through there. They wouldn't even help me off the ground. But thank God for my neighbor next door there, Henry. Yeah. He helped me get That's up. That's good, dear. But you need some help, man. I'll, I'll take care of them, you know, permanently if you want me to. Oh, no, no, no. Just, just rough them up a little bit and, and cut their tires. I can do that. That's easy. And make them stop coming down my street racing. I can do that real fast. All right. And permanently. All right. That's oh, Carlos. What's happening, Carlos? What's happening, Carlos? Really? Man, I'm on my way. Just hang loose and I'll be there as soon as I can. Bye bye. Ruby, I gotta go. I got a little business to take care of. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. All right. Something. You're a beautiful woman and you're worth a hell of a lot more than a hundred dollars, girl. Gosh. <sighs> you're worth a hell of a lot more than that. No, we used you as bait because we wanted to get Oscar. Because in that little chip there is top secret information from the company he works for, Subcom Corporation. They didn't give him a big enough pension, so he stole it and he was going to sell it. But unfortunately, the person he was going to sell it to, you were with him yesterday and he had a heart attack. Remember? I plead the fifth. Yo, get this dead body out of here. Williams. Look, man, it looks like about a quarter of a million dollars right here, man. Really, great. What you want me to do with this? Well, we're going to we're going to give Maria Gonzalez fifty thousand dollars because that's what the reward is for him in Germany. We're going to use ten thousand dollars to clean up this mess, and then we're going to turn in the rest as evidence. All right, man. So let, me, let me grab it right now. Okay, let's go back to the room and take care of business, Williams. All right. Carbs. Is it cool if this guy comes in? Sure, but frisk him and get his ID. Alright. Can I get your ID? Be right back, Carbs. Detective Carpenter, welcome to the party. How y'all doing? Okay. Why don't you come sit down over here? I need to talk to both y'all right now. Okay, you've got to realize, when that man had the heart attack in that other room yesterday, 
you shouldn't have taken that gold box because it almost got us killed. You got that? Now you keep that box as a souvenir now to make sure you don't do something stupid like that. Okay, listen, Alligator, Maria Gonzalez, y'all are out of business here. You ain't going to be doing your little trip. I used to be in Vice for 10 years. I don't put up with that crap no while. I'm a homicide detective. But in a way, after all that we went through today, this is your lucky day because there is a $50,000 reward for Oscar Schmidt in Germany. And he had a quarter of a million dollars in his truck because he was going to buy that top secret information because he was very upset about his pension. But as you can see, he's not around to enjoy the money. He had a heart attack. You were there. We know this. But anyway, this is your lucky day. You got $50,000 because he had a quarter of a Wait, million. Hold on, I don't understand. I get $50,000? You led us to him. And I'm not going to mess with all that red tape in Europe. That would take years and years, and you might not ever get your money. And $200,000 is good enough evidence instead of two, uh, two hundred and fifty. So congratulations. Here's your reward money. I'll take that. Okay, y'all are out of business here. Well, okay. I can agree with that. And well, while we're at it, would you marry me? Yes, Sal. Okay. I'll marry you. Hey, be sure to invite me to the wedding. Okay. Okay. Y'all just stay put. Just stay put. We're going to take care of some stuff outside. Cards. I got a couple out here that want to speak to Maria. Is it okay if they come okay, in? Okay, well, frisk them, get their IDs, and run them for warrants. Let them come on in after you do that. Got it. Hey! hey. Guess what? What? We're getting married. Oh my god, it's about time. I want to be in the wedding. Oh, of course. Yeah. And. This is this guy. This is Tudor Took. Something like that. Okay. He has a, a farm in St. Hedwig. Wow, it's a change for you. We're going to leave tonight. Oh, okay. Well. You, you're coming to the wedding, so don't get lost. <laughs> oh, we won't. Make sure you let us know when it is. Of course. All right. All right. See you. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thank you. Okay, y'all just stay here. We got some loose ends. We got to tie up upstairs. Don't get, you stay right where you are. You got it? Yeah, we're here. Okay, good. Yeah, Carp, what do you need? You need to call Bud in Somerset. Tell him to dig a deep hole. We're over here at the Blue Bonnet Motel, room number four. We have a package for you to pick up and deliver it to him. All right, I'll call him right now. Okay, see you, see you shortly. Okay, adios. Hello? Hey, bud. I need you to dig a deep hole. I'll be there in an hour. Okay, you got the 5,000? Yeah, I got it. It'll be done by the time you get here. All right, see you there. Bye. Doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I heard you could use a little help. Yeah. I need you and Detective Williams to load this guy up in your van and deliver him by Somerset. <laughs> All right. How about so? All right. Sounds good. Let me put this up. Let's get this body in. All right. Arms or the legs? I'll take the legs. 
Hey, Maria. They're putting that dude in a good time fan. They don't look like real detectives to me. Who cares, Al? We got our $50,000. We're not going to jail. Let's get out of this dump. Made me put down my margarita. Hey, I understand. <laughs> You gotta make money sometime. Yeah, let's, let's see. Let me go around, I'll pull them in. All right. Yeah, Davis. Here's $5,000 for you and $5,000 for Bud. All right, sounds good. Okay, drive All careful. Right. All right, thank you. You know he wouldn't have proposed if she didn't have that money. Yeah, but I guess his mama didn't raise no fool. I guess she didn't. Man, come on, let's go get a couple of beers. I like the way you think, partner. And one more thing, What's Williams. That? Do you have a gun like this in your collection? No, I don't. Well, you do now. Just consider it a gift from Oscar. All right. Let's go grab that beer, brother. All right. saw you, you were the apple of my eye, and I know I never have you, but I had to give it a try, then I saw you walking down the street, we said hi, we started talking, and you, you swept me off of my feet. Pick up the pieces and carry on. 